Hello, this is David from Production Crate. Today we'll be creating this terraformed canyon with the help of our new waterfall assets from the website. There are several different fantastic variations, so no matter what shot we use, you won't have any trouble fitting it in. Most of the work has been done for us, as they're super realistic on their own, but we will also be using some of the loopable mist effects to build out these awesome 3D clouds at the bottom of our waterfall. Grab your footage and if needed, use the 3D camera tracker to build out the camera's movement. Circle a roughly flat area where we want our lake surface and click Create Solid. You can then change the layer dimensions, position and rotation so that it creates a roughly shaped body of water. We want the edges now to appear far more organic, so pre-compose the entire layer and select the small sun looking icon to keep the layer positioned correctly. In the pre-comp, add a fast blur and set this to 300 or so pixels. We then drop a roughen edges effect, set the sharpness onto a low value so that the water's edge blends in with the shoreline, and the scale should be set to roughly 600 so that the lake appears to be part of the landscape. To create the waves, we'll use a turbulent noise effect to create the very small waves in the distance by simply changing the scale in the transform panel. A second turbulent noise effect is then needed to fake the appearance of the wind interacting with the waves. Set the scale for this one up to the hundreds and set the noise type to swirly. The blending mode should be a soft light. Lastly, put a tint effect and select the high and low brightness values for your watercolour. One thing to note is that the watercolour should match the sky's colour as it's basically just a reflection of this. To make the reflection even more realistic, copy the footage, flip it upside down and position it to give the illusion of it being a reflection of the landscape. Duplicate the solid above this layer and then set the reflections mat to a luma mat. Just remember to use a blur on the reflection layer as well as using a curves adjustment on the mat to give it more control over how transparent the reflection is. We can now drop on the waterfall asset, making sure that the source is on the edge of the cliff. The colour correction relies heavily on your footage, but here I'll use a tint effect to remove the colour, and then a curves adjustment to carefully match the shadows colour to the cliff texture. You can duplicate the waterfall and give it a slight blur to give the appearance of mist. Just for extra detail, I'll add a small white solid with the same colour and mask out a path leading towards the mouth of the waterfall. I can then use the loopable mist effect and drop it down at the bottom in 3D space. Freeze frame it and then pre-compose it, and once again press the sun looking icon to keep the right position. In the layer you can duplicate the cloud several times and rotate it around the y-axis randomly. You will have created this awesome looking cloud which can be seen in the parent composition. If you need to, you can then mask out the foreground and then you'll be done. If you need to add any more, you can then just use the same techniques I've taught you today. Once again, thank you for watching this video and we'll have all of the assets that you want on the Production Create website down below. Have fun and make it awesome.